Okay, we're about a half, a half hour, 35 minutes into our boil here, and uh, as you can see, we got steam pouring out. And considering uh, the ambient temperature, it's about 70, 72 degrees today, I guess. Um, so to see that kind of steam rolling off uh, is pretty impressive, pretty fun. And I don't know how well we're going to be able to see inside that flue pan, but the flue pan is at a, a solid boil. One other thing I want to address just, bef just before I forget, a lot of people are going to be wondering what we're boiling today. Very technically speaking, we are boiling sap. We have about seven or eight hundred gallons of permeate left over from last year, meaning water that was separated from the maple sap. Uh, there is no sugar in it, so we're not able to get the liquid temperatures up as high as we would with, with sap. Um, but it is mineral free and it's clean and that's why we chose to run it as as a test piece it's essentially water though since we signed off before we did uh, while we were boiling actually we carefully added a sight glass just because when we're running this evaporator it's pretty tough to see what's going on inside the pans and the last thing we wanted to do was have an accident while we were while we were trying to run tests so of course, if you run the pans empty, if, meaning you, you evaporate all the water out and the pan, the floor of the pan becomes bare, you just scorch the pans. Uh, I wish we could get a little better visual of inside the pans. Um, they are boiling extremely hard and it's, it's going really, really well. So we're going to maintain a depth of about an inch and a half. We're not going to let it get much lower than that at all. And we are not using a float box today. So we are manually adding sap in through that, uh, that valve coming out of the feed pan. So let's talk about that feed pan a little bit more. The reason for it and the reason it is sitting right on the arch instead of using steam to preheat is because of some engineering uh, hurdles that we have. We have the stack pipe coming out of the back of the arch which is only typical on a, on a hobby type evaporator. But we had to get some separation between the back wall of the arch and where the flues start. And in a little bit, we'll, we'll look at what flues are, what drop flues are, and you'll have a better understanding. But we couldn't have those drop flues running all the way to the back of the evaporator. That would have inhibited our performance and our fuel efficiency. So part of the reason for that feed pan is to to get the, uh, the flue pan, the back of the flue pan, which is right here, we had to get that away from the back of the arch. Uh, that pan is also preheating, of course. That's fire underneath the, right underneath that feed pan. Matt and Jimmy, do you have anything to add? No, I guess I don't have much. Uh, besides, you know, the firing and the, the frequency of firing yeah jimmy's been jimmy's been doing the firing and we're still kind of getting a grasp for that but in 35 in 40 minutes now i think you've maybe fired three times right we yeah. uh one thing to note guys we did start with 20 gallons uh, approximately with where we were at we yeah we added four gallons into that uh into the feed pan once uh, and so we're going to start to time now as we're now that we're rolling in hot we'll be able to find out how many gallons per hour we're actually boiling at as i add in four gallons each time yeah so speaking of hot let's just see yeah so the sides of the arch are getting warm but not hot for a period of time i can put my hand right on the side of the arch and that's after running for uh probably probably pushing 40 minutes or so now uh, what, what is our time at the moment jimmy uh, we're at 42 minutes right? 42 minutes yeah so 42 minutes we're still able to touch the side of the arch and that's a beautiful thing and uh, we're probably gonna. Why, why don't you load right now, Jimmy? If you, okay. if you think it's ready. Before you go too far, I'm gonna just show the the drop flues if I can in there. Boy, it's tough to see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we're not gonna be able to see the drop flues while we're under fire. Check back in in a few minutes.